Okay, so you want to know how to add pattern to your projects in Cricut Design Space. It's actually super simple. I'm going to take you in, I'm going to show you an image, we'll deconstruct it, and then we'll add pattern to multiple pieces of that image and then put it back together. And by the way, if you're new here, you're crafting with Kim Byers. Let's go. So I got these out of Cricut Design Space. So you have this cute little head. Actually, he's this. <laughs> um, and the ghost, and which is actually one of those. And then I have the pumpkin here, um, which is actually this pumpkin. So I wanted to show you how you could pull in all kinds of different designs and then make it what you want it to be. And so what I did is then I used the features within Cricut to make these have patterns. So I put pattern on his face, on his hair, and pattern on my little ghost pattern behind so I will show you how to do that as well um, or you can go into some of my favorite design websites and pick up images like this that are already designed they already have pattern behind them so what I did is I took this little guy and I looked over into layers and so if I wanted to use him as one shape what I would do is I would go up into basic cut and make him a print then cut and it would collapse or flatten that whole thing so it would just be one print but what I really wanted to do was turn off everything that I didn't want so I really just wanted his hair and I really wanted his face and then when you're looking at that you're like well Kim that gave you his hands too but what I did is I went into the contour tool right here and I'll put a video on how to use contour up above but it is super super simple um, and so you're just gonna click on contour remove his hands and you're gonna be left with this guy so this cute little you know you just have the hair and you have the face and so once you have that now you can say okay I'm going to do one of two things I'm either going to flatten him Okay, so let's just do that real quick, flatten him. So now see he's one thing, it made him print then cut right out of the gate. And that's great, and he's adorable. But what if you wanted to put pattern on him? So I'm gonna undo that real quick. We're gonna click on him again and move down. So I'm gonna click on the one thing. So I'm gonna click on hair, and I'm going to look over here, and when I go into materials and you look into advanced, you're like, well, there's just a bunch of colors here. So what you have to do to be able to make that into a pattern, click off of it, click on just his hair again. We're gonna go up and do print then cut. Before we do anything else print then cut, we're just gonna do that individual piece print then cut before it's flattened, okay? So now that he's print then cut, I can click on the color, which is black, and see here, it's actually a drop down. It's easy to miss, but if you click that drop down, you see the word pattern, and now it's going to bring up patterns that are currently already stored in Cricut. And if you go into filter, then you can search for just black patterns. So you only want his hair to be some version of black. And so I clicked on this one, okay? And we click off and you see, okay, so it's this big pattern. Well, I kind of wanted it to be a more a smaller pattern. All this, this is super cute. So then what I'm going to do is get that print then cut and I'm gonna go back into that, and you see this here, you can edit that pattern, which means you can then use the scroll bar, you can make it smaller, you can make it larger, you can tweak that and change that up to be whatever you want it to be. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then you click off of that, now you've got this really cool pattern on his hair. So now you can either, you know, select that whole thing, so just select him, and flatten it, print then cut, or you can go in and then change his face. So it's really, really neat that you can take this design and make it completely your own by changing colors, patterns, whatever the case may be. So then you would do that same process with your ghost, with your jack-o'-lantern. So once you have your Frankensteins and guys the way that you want them to be, you can then you know click on all three of them together and flatten them. Okay, so once they're flattened, they become one print so you see this you have the little face little ghost and the jack-o'-lantern it's all together it is truly that easy guys to do that and you're going to do the same thing with the name so you're going to be able to take the name and then put a pattern to that if you want to or these this one right here these are images that I found on one of my favorite crafting site so I'm going to put links to these down below these fonts um, and it's actually multiple kinds all from the same designer it's so so darling just I love it so you're gonna be able to you know pull in things like that so for instance if you find a design outside and you wanted to bring that in you would just go into upload and then you would upload these individually it's not like a font these are actually individual images okay so I hope that 
taught you something so now you can put pattern on all of your print then cut projects and all of your DTV projects. So if you're wondering what DTV is, I'm going to put this video up above so you can pop over and check out how we finished out this project making this into a tote bag for my niece and we used DTV or direct to vinyl. So basically we printed this image onto vinyl and then used our heat press to put that onto a tote bag for Halloween. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one.